Well, praise the Lord. Welcome to the Life of Excellence. This is Jay and Connie Hurt. We are excited about what God is doing. We are in revival in Hevener, Oklahoma with Pastor Sonia and Cody Nix there at the altar. And God is moving in a great way. But right now, we are about 15 miles southeast or northeast from where their church is. And tell everybody where we're at today. We are on Kavanaugh Hill. Kavanaugh Hill. Can you see this? <laughs> we are on the highest mountain. No, the well, highest uh, hill. The world's in the highest world. hill in the world at 1,999 feet. I think it's just shy, about 11 foot, of, of being, being a, mountain. a mountain. And and I guess a mountain is 2,010 feet, I guess. But we are here today because we want to talk to you about going up higher. Yes, amen. The Word of God says in the book of Isaiah, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. You know, an eagle, they have seen eagles higher than 27,000 feet in the air. That's amazing. Can you imagine that? But an eagle soars higher than any bird. That's what they say. It soars <laughs> higher. And here we are. We drove all the way up here during this revival just so we could talk to you about going up higher. And, and on the way up here, Connie kept saying, my ears are, are plugged. My ears are popping. And she kept saying, oh, watch the side. Watch the clip. Watch this. And, you know, it's got a windy road coming up. In fact, we got on one section, and it said no trucks because, I mean, it was almost a straight incline. But with God, there is no limit how high you can go. There's no sign that says you can't enter. When you have God and you mount up with the wings of eagles, you mount up with the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Praise God, and there's no fear, because coming up this mountain, I was a, a little fearful, just because you can look off to one side, and it looks like you're going to fall off, just fall off, so I'm like, drive a little closer in, go a little closer in, so I praise God that we didn't pass anyone. I love this, though, the, the mountain air, because we're 11 feet shy of a mountain, I believe, but it's amazing. It's beautiful up here, and you can just feel the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. And today is a beautiful day. Now, last night, there were storms that came oh, yeah. through this area, and the night before. The night before, there was tornado warnings all around us. In the Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Texas area, we, we, we have those strong winds. Yes. And there was, uh, there was tornado warnings all around this. Last night, the rain was hitting so hard that people in the sanctuary, in the church, kept looking out the door every time the thunder would roll and the rain would get hard, uh, harder on the roof. But you know what? Hallelujah. With God, he says he will place you in the cleft of the rock mm. and and he will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Will always be protected. And did you know that they say, hallelujah, and I don't know who they are, but they say it, <laughs> that the eagles love storms because it makes them stronger. I love that. Are you facing a storm today? It doesn't matter what storm you're facing. God's about to take you higher. And that storm is going to increase your strength. Isn't that what God wants? It is what God wants. And see, when you're in a storm, when you're in the middle of it, you cannot see the other side. You can't see above the clouds where the sun is, where the sun is. Hallelujah. Oh, that's good. You can only see what your circumstances say. But what I love about a storm is once it's over, the clarity comes and then your character comes through, doesn't it? Yes, Revealed. it does. It says, the, the the word of God says that you come through the purifying fire. Well, that's the fire. You go through the fire of a storm and you come out purified. Yes, Amen. you do. In the word and in blessings. Because when you go through things like that, you learn from it. You learn from it, don't you? And you know, I usually don't wear short sleeve shirts, especially when we're doing video. But I mean, it was such a beautiful day after that storm. I, I thought, I'm going to put on my short sleeve shirt and I'm just going to go out. We met with the pastors, got to fellowship with them. And then we knew we wanted to talk to you. We wanted to share with you, no matter where you are in life right now, no matter what battle you're facing right now, no matter what situation you may deal, be dealing with, whether it's a financial, spiritual, emotional, a mental or maybe maybe it's just something that is not feeling right yeah. god has spoke to us to tell you get ready <laughs> you're going up higher we you, you're almost there Woo. see this hill is almost a mountain 
This hill is almost put into the ranks of a mountain, but it, because it was just a little bit shy. But the Lord, Lord says to Isaiah, my hand is not short. That's God's right. hand is not short to take you up higher. Whoa, that's good. That is good. You ain't going to just barely miss it. God said, I'm going to take you up higher. Oh, hallelujah. Woo. Man, that's I could word. preach out here. If I had an audience here, man, we'd have an amphitheater right now. Well, go on. Go oh, on. amen. Go I got on. I got a whole valley behind me. If you could see behind <laughs> us, it is beautiful. We took a picture. We're going to insert it there. But this is where you are right now. Yeah. Some of you are almost there. But God said, I'm not going to take you almost there. I'm going to take you over. Jesus yeah. said it. Give, and it shall be given yes, back to you. Down. Pressed down, shaken together, poof, running over. It's Press like putting off. Mentos into a Coca-Cola bottle. Uh, yeah, and peanuts. And peanuts. Right. But mentals make it explode. I don't know about peanuts, but they sure taste good. <laughs> peanuts Amen. make it taste better. But that's what God wants you to know. You're not just almost there. Yeah. God says, no, I will make you the head and not the tail. I will make you bless coming in and going out. I will make you the lender and not the borrower. I will make you the healer and not the one that is sick. I'll make you the uh, free and not the bound. Glory to God. I can preach that. Woo! And how beautiful are the feet to spread the good news. Amen. The mountaintops. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. I love that. Well, God is so good, isn't he? He is. And, and, and the word of God says, I will look to the hill from whence cometh my help. my help for my help comes from the Lord talking yeah. about Jerusalem Ooh. and oh beloved of God hallelujah you're not almost saved you're not almost this is almost a mountain but you're not almost saved you're not almost blessed you're not yeah. almost healed the word of God says I am blessed. I am healed. I am saved. Oh, man, you know I'm preaching now because I'm I talking. Know, I love it. Like, you know, when you're telling the kid, don't you do that again. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm telling you that God has brought you through a storm to Praise put you God. on the mountaintops, yes. not to leave you on the hill. Amen. Amen. Preach. Go on, well, brother. praise I God. I, I, think, I, I think I'm done. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we're going to pray for you. What, what were you going to say? I just love how God is. And I love that we are on the mountaintop and the valley is just below. Amen. And you know what? From the mountaintop, you can see the valley. But from the valley, sometimes you cannot see the mountaintops because of the clouds, because mm -hmm. of the storms, yeah. your situation, everything that you're in. But see, God is everywhere. He's there, right there with you. Whatever you need, you just look to the Lord. Just shout out to him and Amen. say, God, help me, pull me up, bring me through. And remember, when you are walking with the Lord, when you are praising him, you are thanking him and believing him for everything in your life, having faith to bring you through from that valley experience to the mountaintop mm. he hears and he will be faithful Amen. and it is in the valley that he restores your soul Amen. so get ready you're going to hit the mountaintop once again we love you and appreciate you this is jane carney hurt coming to you directly from the world's highest hill cavanaugh mountain cavanaugh yeah. hill outside of poto oklahoma <laughs> where God is blessing and ministering. We love and appreciate you. Yes, Let us do. pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Jesus. we thank you. We ask that God you bless all of our partners, Hallelujah. all of the hero partners, yes, all of the, the ones that God have just simply found our channel. Hallelujah. God, minister to them, strengthen bless them, and bless them, and encourage Hallelujah. them, Hallelujah. and give them new life. In Jesus' name Jesus we pray. Name. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Watch for us as we begin to expand into different television areas, radio areas, be a part of it. This is the life of excellence. We want you to know we are rebuilding lives, restoring hope, renewing vision, and you, you have, have purpose. purpose. God bless you.